In order to be spontaneous, you need to get organized. Sounds like an oxymoron, but it really does make sense. Dream Team Organizing Editor Brenda Prinzavalli is here with tips to help us be more fun. Well, I think the three of us, stop yawning. Uh, what? The three of us. Uh, usually we have fun, but Rachel was yawning just then. I've been out since I, 2 a.m. I was. I called her out. <laughs> uh, all right, help Rachel help herself have more fun. All right. Well, the first thing you need to do is if people have been asking you to do things that are, you know, spur of the moment and yeah. you've been saying no, find out why. What is it that is your excuse? What's your reason? What's your challenge? So really go, kind of go think, either think back or as things start to come up, start to realize why it is that you were saying no to something spontaneous. Okay. So someone says, hey, hey Brenda, let's like, let's after work, uh, go up to Mount Charleston and go like snowboarding for the day. Right. And you're like, no, I can't. Is that what you mean? Right. Okay. And then you figure out why. Well, is it time? Is you know what is the reason? Okay. And so whatever those reasons are, then the next thing you want to do is start to find some solutions. And let's say it might be related to children. So what you might want to do is find get a backup for pickups and drop-offs. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your time. Maybe your schedule is so tightly packed that if you took an hour off just to do something spontaneous, if it totally threw off your day and you paid a price for a week, right. then maybe your calendar is a little too filled. And maybe you just don't have the equipment with you that you need to do whatever activity it is that you might want to do. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yep. And um, so what about... Um um, do you, you do some prep work before, though? Right, right. Okay. Well, you know, the other thing is make a list of what you would want to do. Sure. You know, go through it, and whether it's a short thing, whether it's something that's an hour, whether it's half a day, a full day, is it something that's actually an overnight trip or out of town, what are some things that you'd really, really enjoy doing? And then if once you get that list made, mm -hmm. then prepare yourself. Okay. Go ahead and, you know, if it is to go up snowboarding, sure. make sure that in the trunk of your car you have your ski equipment, you have your snowboard, so that if somebody would ask you, you're like, all right, I'm there. I'm all ready to go. I've got it in my trunk and ah, I can take off. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. So be prepared. Whether it's even a cosmetic and toiletry bag that's all ready to go. Somebody says, you know what, let's go out of town. Great, you're ready to go. You really do have to mentally, sometimes mentally prepare yourself. I mean, maybe you put that bag like right next to, like where your car keys are. Right, so you know, right. you know, right. yeah. Well, that's a whole other part of the issue too. Yeah, right. <laughs> it in the now car. I can't find my car. No, <laughs> that's a problem too. Okay. Well, good. Well, okay. So the next thing is, once you've done a little bit of prep work, then mm -hmm. be informed. Whether it's that you sign up for e-news alerts that you know are telling you when there's some travel specials, or if it's a an organization or an activity, maybe it's Mount Charleston and they're skiing. Mm -hmm. You know, what is it that you might need to get informed about about specials or activities? And also tell the people around you. Tell your friends. Tell your family, hey, you know, I'd love to take an afternoon off and go do this. Mm -hmm. You might be more ready to have somebody even ask you that, or you to be the one, gosh, to prompt being spontaneous. What about the people <laughs> that go, like, to, you all, you, and you know what I'm, these people that I'm talking about, they go on a trip to, like, uh, you know, Hawaii, okay. and they're constantly still not even enjoying themselves. They're on the phone. They're, you know, they're typing away on the laptop <laughs> and everything like that. So what do you tell those people? Because they, they took the effort to get there, and now they're still not having fun. The, well, you know, gosh, that's a whole, a whole other host of questions. Well, yeah, that can always help just to kind of take the edge off. But, yeah. you know, they've, they've set themselves up to... At least they got that far. Yes. Okay, Brenda, yeah. thank you. Right. Get a hold of Brenda and the rest of our Dream Team members by logging on to our website at fox5vegas.com and clicking on more. Rachel, you got, uh, well, you got...